hung out with him, worked with him, whatever. But in the end, they're like, oh, Jay, yeah, Jay, he's just a Republican. He's just a right-wing guy, blah, 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 blah. I'm not a Republican. I'm not right-wing. I just don't see things the way you see them. And instead of just accepting, hey, Jay thinks a different way, but he's still been a part of our community, let's kick it with him. It's, oh, we have to find a label to put him under. Mm -hmm. They can't really say that I'm not a white guy. So they say, oh, well, you're a Republican. But the problem is that I'm to the left on these issues than most of the black folks that I know. So that's where I like a lot of that tension comes in. But they can't say, oh, well, I favor white people over black people, because, of course, that makes them Candace Owens. So that makes them whoever, you know, whoever named the black Republican you don't like. Right. So they, they have to make it about LGBT to make it OK to go after Kevin Hart, to go after Dave Chappelle or Jason Whitlock. They have to make them either misogynist. But the misogyny was the first thing. They can't do that now because they call every white woman they don't like Karen. Mm -hmm. So it's not a, the misogyny thing isn't effective anymore. So this is their last stand. So I think you're right. Their last stand in trying to control all of us and make us think and talk the way they want us to talk is to accuse us as being homophobic and, and anti-trans because they've already crapped all over, quote, Karen's head. They mm -hmm. can't go back and say, you're a jerk for being a misogynist because they're going off on white women for being horrible and racist all the time. Sure, sure. Uh, last comments. And before, before we before we wrap this up, we're an hour and 16 minutes into this. Once again, you you, you surpass everybody else in time because of your, your topics, right. and you're to be commended for that. But moving forward, we just got finished with Thanksgiving. And right. Thanksgiving to me is, is in many ways the best holiday of all because – we have so much to be thankful for. Absolutely. We just have so much to be thankful for, uh, especially in this country, because if you want more work harder and you'll get it, if you want things to change, work towards changing that and, and you will, you will change it. If you want to move the envelope, do so. And no right. other place in the world represents uh, opportunity like we have in this country. By the same token, I like to think that we're getting better as a society with, with, of course, we need to be more inclusive. We need to respect others, but we also need to respect others who don't agree with us. Do you think that we're getting, and that's everybody. Do you think that we're getting closer to that? Accepting people for, as Dr. King said, the, 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 the content of their character instead of the color of their skin or the way who they love or what they do or, or the candidate they pull a lever for. Do you think we're getting a little bit closer to being where we need to be? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I think the, the, the media is not, the media is getting worse. The politicians publicly are getting worse, but I think the people on the street are starting to see, wait a minute, this isn't me. This doesn't represent me. Mm. Um, again, you go back to Chappelle and the silver lining. Well, there's a lot of other things is that people are now seeing that folks of all different colors can share the same values a lot more than you saw maybe eight, nine years ago when every Republican was saying the sky is falling and the world is falling because Obama's president. Now you're seeing a three-dimensional political perspective being more apparent where you're seeing that things are not just black and white and not just male and female. Um, I think it is getting better. I think on the street, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. And what it's going to take is some way for someone to kind of bring that out publicly, because I think people on the street may feel like it's not getting better, but in the same process, like at the same time, I can talk to people who I can tell they have very different views about to, with me about race or about certain particular intricate topics we both agree on how stupid a lot of this stuff is. Mm -hmm. We both agree that the secret to life is working hard and doing what you can. And the fact is you see black, white, especially in working class America, and especially in middle class places where people have those working class values. In the end, we have to kind of all work together. If you voted for a Republican, I voted for a Democrat. We got to get this project done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to not work with you because I'm not going to lose money because I'm mad because you voted for Biden and I voted for Trump. And so that reality, I think, is becoming more crystal clear to people and, and hopefully it, it'll continue. I, I agree. And I think that the, one of the one of the best examples 
is this passage of the one trillion dollar infrastructure right. uh, bill law. Because this was a deal where Republicans and Democrats got together. The Democrats, uh, even though they ruled the roost, they did a lot of compromises. And, and and this is going to be good for the country. Is it a lot of money? Sure. But everything's a lot of money. Uh, you make the roads better. You make the infrastructure better. You make the railroads better. You make the water more drinkable. You make the, you know, on and on and on. All that is better for everybody. And it's been a long time since we've had something like this. And it was Republicans and Democrats working together. Those on the right. far right didn't support it. Those on the far left didn't support it. But those right. in the center did. Right. 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 And that's actually the way. And in the end, you know, people complain about, all oh, the experts and, you know, the whole class behind the scenes. The fact of the matter is, is that what people don't realize is the history of that class came after the Civil War, they were just giving jobs away to people because of elections. Mm -hmm. And they came up with the idea of the classical liberals came up, hey, you know what? We need to have some people who just do their job yeah. and give us all the facts yeah. and don't care about the election. People call that, oh, the deep state. We just want, we just want a guy who'll just do what the people want. Actually, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want a balance. I want, sure, I want representative government. But I don't want every structural thing in our country to change based off of which, whether it's Joe Biden or Donald Trump gets elected, because I honestly don't trust either one of those guys making any real decisions. Yeah. That's... So someone's going to actually know how the knobs work. And you can complain about it on TV, but like you said, COVID, we survived it. You know, the storms, we're surviving it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the economic crisis, we survived it. The economy is not bad now. I don't care what the Republicans are saying. The economy is not bad now. And is what the progressives are saying. Oh, you got to work four jobs. To... No, most people do not work four jobs. Mm. You, you can work one job now and demand a higher salary and a higher wage. And get and it. You should be able to go and get it. So, like you said, as long as we learn how the extremes are not telling the truth, I think we'll learn to understand things more in terms of the positive and not the negative. And... Maybe that's one of the positives that comes out of all this crazy stuff. I, I, I think so. I hope so. I pray that that happens. James Gray Falcon, when are you going to be on Jamie Allman's show next? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, ho hopefully we'll be doing something in the next couple of weeks or, you know, and maybe working towards a regular spot at that 6 a.m. time. We'll see what happens. Um, I, I would probably be open to it at this point. Um, and we're just, again, we're in discussion, so... Uh, I'm happy about it. I like the show. I like what I hear on the show. I know the people on the show. So, hey, we'll see. So if people want to find out when you're going to be on, uh, what would be the best way for them to follow it? Follow your Facebook page? Uh, 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 yeah, plus on Facebook, grayfalcon.com. Okay. Okay. Very good. Happy Thanksgiving, James. Thank you for your time. Same I appreciate same. it. Same to you. Hey, take care. Bye-bye. Well, that's it. We're done. James Strong Show at Hotmail.com. That's the email address. Send me your email address upon publication of the podcast. I will send you a link. You can download it and listen to it at your leisure. Until next time, this is James Strong saying adios.